everyone, I'm Miss Malena from the Highland Park Public Library and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. Um, today we're going to be doing a fun craft, um, making some fall festive fruit and veggies. So um, what you'll need for this is a toilet paper roll or also you could use a paper towel roll and um, cut it to make it smaller for certain fruit or keep it large if you decided to make something like a squash, for example. Um, the other thing you'll need is some scotch tape, a writing implement, scissors, and um, paper, green for a stem or leaves that you're gonna use to decorate, and another color for whatever fruit you're gonna do. Today, I'm going to be making an apple, but your finished product will look something like this. And this is one I did with orange paper. I made a pumpkin. So these are really fun and you can use them to decorate uh, for fall. So I know apples are really popular and maybe a lot of you go apple picking this time of year. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to want to put um, a ring of paper around your paper towel roll to sort of poof it out a little bit. So to do that, you're gonna take your first sheet of paper for whatever you're doing. I'm doing an apple, so it'll be red. And you're on the short side going to put your um, toilet paper roll and just make a little line at the edge. And then you're going to cut straight across and it doesn't need to be perfectly straight. Then we're going to take that and loosely, so it doesn't need to be tight, just very loosely. It's okay if it falls off because you can always fix it at the end. Use some tape to secure that around your uh, um, toilet paper roll. So as you can see, it's kind of loose in there. This could actually come out, but you're going to want to have it in there because that's where you're going to secure your strips of paper. So then, with your other same colored sheet of paper going across this direction, not this direction, you're gonna just cut strips. Um, you can kind of eyeball it, but about an inch. So if you want to measure, you could get a ruler and do that as well. You're gonna cut all the way until you've cut the entire piece of paper. That. And this is going to create the body of your fruit or vegetable. And you saw with my pumpkin, kind of creates a nice big poofy pumpkin. I love apples in the fall because apple pie is amazing, as is pumpkin pie, and there's lots of delicious um, fruits and veggies. So, let's see, I'm going to cut this. I've got a couple more. And again, they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be the exact same width. Um, so once you do that, you're going to put a piece of tape on both ends. And then you're going to go kind of inside here. Um, as depending on how poofy you want it, you could make it looser or tighter, um, but you're gonna tape it on the inside of your roll. So there's one, but we're gonna fill up the entire thing. And then, so what I like to do is to first space them kind of like next to each other, and then you can fill in the gaps um, after you're done doing that. Oh, sometimes it doesn't wanna stick. So it's okay, just put that in there. And it'll be kind of hard to make it stand up straight at first, but you um, should not worry about that because as you continue, you can just keep, if you, when you put it back down, kind of pressing it down. It's okay to bend these strips. Um, so keep doing this. So have, have any of you gone apple picking before? a super fun activity and there's so many different varieties um, and then you can make lots of yummy delicious things with those apples um, 
I know there's lots of great places to go apple picking around here too. And it's a great outdoor activity, so right now you can do it and still be socially distant. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna finish with these strips. And again, you don't have to be like perfect with it because in the end, you can fill in any gaps and also you put your um, color around the toilet paper roll so you're not seeing the cardboard at all. It just looks like the color of the fruit. Let's get a couple more in here. And sometimes they do this thing where they pop out and that's okay too. Just stick it back in there. And so as you can see, I have a lot going on one side and not as many over here. So now I'm getting down to like the last of my strips and I'm gonna just fill in some spots that I have. Um, so like right here I need one. And as they start to fill up, you might find that you're actually taping it to other, the interior to other strips and that's okay. It doesn't have to go exactly on the toilet paper roll. Um, Cause this is all just, you know, it's not perfect, but you can, you know, no fruit is perfect either, right? Okay, so get that one in, get a little, filling some of those gaps that I have. Okay, and then just sort of looking and seeing where I might need to fill in some more and putting them there. Okay, I'm almost ready here. And again, you can make these as tight or as loose as you want to so that your piece of fruit is as poofy or flat as you desire. So doing pretty well. I feel like you can kind of also readjust because the nice thing is the tape will usually come off pretty nicely if you feel like you get them all on there and you're missing an area that you kind of want to cover up a little bit more. And I'm on my last strip, so I'm going to use that to take care of this one spot I have right here. Okay. So now, looks like my apple is pretty well done. So now, if you have a green piece or a brown piece of paper, if you wanted to do a stem or green as well, um, I'm just gonna freehand um, a leaf on here. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna cut that out. I don't know, do you think I should do two? That could be kinda nice. So maybe we'll do two leaves. Um, okay, I'm gonna draw one more. I'll make that one a little bit bigger than the last one. And, you know, have fun with this. You don't have to have it be perfect looking. It could be creative. You could do like a whole stem with a bunch of leaves if you wanted to. And then you're just gonna take, um, a little bit of tape and because these are so tiny um, it might actually roll my tape like this so that it's sticky on both sides and stick it on the back of my leaf so that I can actually stick that on a little better so there we go and actually with the pumpkin because that stem was um, bigger I just did a piece of tape across it but you could you know if you want it sticky on both sides, that's fine too. So I'm gonna stick that on. And here is my apple. So this is a super easy craft that you can do and you can use it to decorate your table or just anywhere in your house for fall. Um, I didn't do this today, but if you do have a paper towel roll and you wanted to do something like a butternut squash, for example, you could actually make your paper tighter at the top and then looser at the bottom. And you could even tape it halfway down to get that kind of squash 
where it's like bigger on the bottom, smaller on the top. So you could be creative with this. Um, use whatever kind of colors you have. It doesn't even need to be a traditional thing. If you don't want it to be a fall decoration, you could just do like funky fruit that's like purple and blue or, well, we do have fruit that are purple and blue. So you could do blueberries, you could do strawberries. Um, but I chose to do fall. So we have pumpkins and apples. So have fun with this. All you need is color paper, construction paper, or any kind of color paper, um, toilet paper roll or paper towel roll, pencil, scissors, and tape and you can have decorations, easy peasy. Thank you so much um, for joining me today for this fun fall craft. And if you'd like to see our other pro programs that we have, um, please visit us at hplibrary.org. Thanks.